Rock Transformations Unit, Lesson 1.5, Examining Evidence About Rocks. Activity 2, Modeling How Rocks Form. Here's what your student screen looks like for this part of the lesson. Scientists use models to share their ideas. Next, you'll make visual models to help think about how the rock of the Rocky Mountains and the Great Plains formed. You will use these sheets as a modeling tool to show your ideas about how rock types form. This modeling tool shows a cross-section similar to the sim. We will use this modeling tool throughout this unit. It's important that you represent your thinking as completely as possible as you complete the modeling tool. As student geologists, you will need to communicate your learning. One way to share information is by using your completed model. Today, you'll use the modeling tool to answer the question we've been investigating. How do rocks form? You will answer the investigation question by creating two models. A model of how sedimentary rocks form and a model of how igneous rocks form. You'll complete the transformation region by writing in the initial rock material and the process that transforms this material into sedimentary or igneous rock. Notice the box says sedimentary rock. There is one sheet for sedimentary rock and another sheet for igneous rock. The rock materials and processes sections of the sheet list the options you can choose for filling in the model. For now, ignore the section with options for movement of rock materials. We will return to this part of the modeling tool in a later session. Students, complete the modeling tool, How Rocks Form, Student Sheets. End of activity. Be sure to complete all your student work and amplify for this activity before moving on.